Once upon a time there was a poor young girl named Cinderella. She was living with her mother alone. But one day, her mother got very ill. Before dying she told Cinderella about her father, who married another woman and left Cinderella and her mother alone in a small village. Her mother was scared to leave Cinderella alone so she decided to call her father. When he came to see her, she asked him to take Cinderella with him and he agrees. But unfortunately, her mother could not survive and died. Cinderella could not bear the pain of leaving her mother and her home alone but as she promised her before dying, she came to the city to live with her father. On her arrival, she realized that her father was living in an old but huge mansion. When she entered the house, her father asked her to wait for him in the lounge. While waiting for her father, she looked around and could not stop herself to be mesmerized by the huge mansion. After a while, her father came out and tell her that she will be living here with him now. Although never met him before she was feeling relieved to hear that in this hard time, her father did not left her alone in the village and took her here with him. And this is when, Cinderella looked up and saw a woman with cocky face looking down at her. The woman seemed rude and arrogant. Besides her, two ugly-looking young girls of Cinderella's age were standing there too, and staring at her angrily. Soon after, her father died too. And once again Cinderella was left alone with her selfish, cruel and cold stepmother and two stepsisters. Cinderella's stepmother Lady Tremaine, and two stepsisters Anastasia and Drizilla were used to make her work all day but Cinderella never. Her stepmother hated Cinderella because she was jealous of her beauty, gentleness and charm. She was used to enjoy insulting Cinderella over small things and was used to give her extra chores every day. Just like a pretty face Cinderella had a beautiful voice too. She was used to sing while doing her daily chores. Her animal friends loved her singing and were used to help her with everything she does. One day, a messenger arrived with a special invitation. There was going to be a royal ball at the palace. And all the respected ladies of the country were invited to the palace by the king. As most probably the prince was expecting to choose his wife among his guests. Both the sisters when heard the news got very excited and started practicing dance to do with the prince at the great ball event. When Cinderella heard she asked her stepmother to come with them too but she denied by saying that she does not have anything suitable to wear at the great ball. Cinderella quickly ran towards her attic, opened her trunk and started looking out for something. She found her mother's book and a dress to wear for the great ball. But it was old and torn and she thought she does not have time to repair it but her animal friends agreed to help her too and they all started working on her dress. Lady Tremaine did not want Cinderella to go to the ball. She wanted the prince to meet Anastasia and Drizilla. Maybe he would marry one of them. Lady Tremaine kept Cinderella busy with chores that would take her all night to finish. On the other hand, while Cinderella was working, her animal friends mice and birds fixed her dress. 
they added ribbons and beads that the two stepsisters had thrown away. Working together, the animals turned a simple dress into a fabulous gown. Tired and exhausted when Cinderella came back to her attic, she could not believe her eyes. The dress was hanged and was even prettier than before. She was overjoyed to saw the dress and thanked her lovely friends. She quickly got ready for the great ball. Everyone was ready to go the great ball. Both daughters show their mother their final look and were arguing with each other that Prince will choose her and she will be the princess. Cinderella also came down from the attic ready to leave for the great ball too. When the stepsisters saw their old ribbons and beads on Cinderella's dress, they flew into a rage. They ripped the dress and pulled off the beads. Lady Tremaine didn't stop them. Cinderella's dream of going to the ball was through. Both the stepsisters started laughing after seeing what they did to Cinderella and all three women left for the great ball leaving her behind on her own. Watching her ripped dress Cinderella could not bear any longer. It was the only thing she had from her mother. This inner pain filled her beautiful big eyes with tears. She could not resist and ran towards the garden. While she was crying alone in the garden, something strange happened with Cinderella. Suddenly, a godmother appeared smiling and looking at Cinderella. Panicked, Cinderella got up. Godmother told her that she knew all that happened to her today and that will help Cinderella to go to the Great Ball. When Godmother took out her magic wand, Cinderella got excited and asked if she really knows the magic. We'll show her some of her magic too. Godmother laughed on Cinderella's innocence and then slightly swirled her magic wand towards a branch of pumpkin in the garden. One huge branch of pumpkin tangled on its own and changed into a carriage. And there it was a beautiful carriage was right there waiting for Cinderella to take her to the palace to meet the prince. Cinderella got sad and shown Godmother her torn clothes and told her that she has nothing else to wear so Godmother smiled and swirled her magic wand again but this time aiming at Cinderella. She again slightly swirled her magic wand at Cinderella and her torn dress changed into a beautiful shining gown. She could not believe in her eyes and thanked Godmother for all her help and magic. But before she could leave for the palace, Godmother told Cinderella that she has to be back from palace before 12 am and that at exact 12 am magic will be disappeared and she will be back in her torn clothes. Cinderella promised Godmother to keep that in mind and be back on time and left for the palace to meet her prince. While in the palace everybody was eagerly waiting for the prince to come and chose his dream girl and new princess for their country. And there he was. He was so handsome and charming. As per their mother's instructions both stepsisters moved forward and bowed towards the prince. He returned the same. While going away their mother asked the prince that as a tradition he has to dance with at least any one of them. Looked like he did not had any choice. Although unwantedly. Prince offered Anastasia to dance with her, which she could not believe first but then immediately agreed. 
During her dance she was keep stepping on Prince's foot and eventually could not maintain her balance and fell down. But on everyone's surprise instead of helping her to stand, Prince ran towards the entrance. It is when Cinderella entered the hall but when she saw her stepmother and stepsisters, she got scared and left for her way back home before they could notice and recognize her. But before she could leave, Prince brought her inside with him. When Cinderella entered in the great ball, everyone was astonished and mesmerized by her beauty. Prince could not resist and offer Cinderella to dance with him. Everybody was watching at them. Cinderella smiled and said yes. And both the stepsisters although did not recognize Cinderella, were raged with jealousy. The prince and Cinderella started dancing around the hall. The couple looked lovely together. Prince could not take his eyes off from that beautiful lady in his arms. He wished the night will never end. She is the one he was looking for. And finally, he found his princess. Cinderella was mesmerized by the prince's deep dark blue eyes but suddenly she recalled what godmother had told her. She looked at the clock and there were only five minutes left before the magic will be over and she will be back in her torn clothes. She did not want Prince to know her poor truth. She immediately left the hall and ran towards the stairs. Prince ran after Cinderella asking her where she is going but she told Prince that she cannot stay any longer she has to leave and she again ran towards the stairs. Prince called after her to at least tell him her name but she refused and ran down from the stairs. While running down from stairs, one of her slipper left behind. She turned around to go after it but the clock rang. She knew that now magic will disappear so she left her slipper behind and ran towards the carriage which was waiting for her outside which she knew can disappear any moment. Luckily when she came at the front door the carriage was there and was waiting for her to take her away before vanishing out. The moment she get in the carriage, it moved away from the sight of Prince, his servants and the palace. But immediately, the carriage disappeared too. Now Cinderella has to get back home on her own before her stepmother and stepsisters. Being suspicious, Lady Tremaine got home before time. But when she found Cinderella sleeping in her attic she was relieved and also went to her bedroom. But that night Cinderella could not sleep. She was thinking of the prince although she knew that she will never be able to meet him again and even if Tri will never be able to find her in this small rusted attic either. But there was someone else who could not sleep either. Prince found Cinderella's slipper from stairs after she left without telling him anything about her. He does not even knew her name. He never saw her before. He asked everyone around and no one knew that girl, neither they have seen her ever before. While looking at her slipper, he was imagining Cinderella with him again and was sure of one thing that he will find her at any cost and will definitely marry that girl. Few days passed and Cinderella was back to her miserable life. One day, Lady Tremaine received a letter. 
It said that Prince is searching for the girl he met at Great Ball event and is coming in their town to find his lost princess very soon. When Cinderella heard the news she got very happy. She knew that the man of her dreams, loves her too and will find her. Unable to control her emotions, she started signing along the house and was feeling overwhelmed with excitement to see the prince again. Lady Tremaine now knew that the mysterious girl is Cinderella so strictly instruct her daughters to get their foot fit in the glass slipper at any cost. Cinderella could not wait any longer to meet her prince so she quickly woke up and finished all her daily chores. Then she ran into her room and quickly started getting ready for the prince. It is when Lady Tremaine entered and locked Cinderella in her attic. She ran after and shouted for door to be opened but in vain. All her dreams to be with the prince were over now. She sat down and started crying. The wait was finally over. Doorbell rang and as expected, the duke and the servant entered the house with the glass slipper. Lady Tremaine and both stepsisters welcomed the guests and was ready to try the slipper to be the princess. Firstly, Drysilla tried the slipper. She sat down on the couch for trial. But when she looked at the glass slipper it was too small. She had long foot and the slipper instead looked very small. She tried all she could do to wear it. She finally managed to fit her foot in the slipper but could not hold longer and her thumb started hurting very badly. Anastasia was next in the queue. And before even trying the slipper she started imaging herself dancing with the prince. And even the thought made her shy and she started laughing with her daydreaming. But it was time to meet the reality. When Anastasia saw the slipper she could not believe it. It was too tiny and she had a huge foot instead and was not sure that how she will fit the foot in this small glass slipper. The servant tried his best to fit the slipper in her huge foot and although forcibly she managed to get her foot fit in the slipper. Even the servant was shocked too. But the very next moment the slipper jumped out of her foot and hit the servant's head very badly. When Drysilla started laughing at Anastasia, both stepsisters got angry and started fighting with each other to be the princess. Before leaving Duke asked if there is anyone else in the house to try out the slipper but Lady Tremaine refused. Cinderella heard the Duke. And to get his attention she started singing a song. Duke heard a woman singing. Her voice was fascinating and compelling. Duke asked if there is anyone else upstairs but she refused again. The Duke asked Lady Tremaine to open the door who was bound to follow instructions given by the Duke. Finally, Cinderella got released from the attic. The Duke got very angry at Lady Tremaine for her lie and warmly welcomed Cinderella to try out the glass slipper. Both the sisters when saw Cinderella coming got raged with anger. It was time for Cinderella to show the world that it was her who won the prince's heart. And that it was her, dancing with the prince on the night of Great Ball. So, 
She settled down on the chair in front of the Duke who offered her to try out the glass slipper. When Cinderella sat down to try out the slipper and it fitted her foot perfectly like it was truly made for her soft and small foot. When the slipper perfectly fitted Cinderella, Lady Tremaine and stepsisters could not believe their eyes and were shocked and raged at the same time. When the prince heard about the news he could not wait any longer and immediately left to meet his dream girl. Prince proposed Cinderella and both left for horse riding to spend some time together. And the day everyone was waiting for has finally come, Prince was eagerly waiting for his princess outside the palace. When she arrived, Prince welcomed her warmly and brought her inside. Her beauty mesmerized and fascinated all her audiences. The beautiful couple danced together and they both lived happily ever after.